neurogenic ulcer occurs in patients who lose the sensation peripherally, like an uncontrolled diabetic patient. Once they lose the sensation in the periphery, especially in the extremities and toes, they can easily develop ulcers in bony areas, so anywhere in bones where the bone is pressed against the skin, like the heels, the metatarsal heads, the melali, and sometimes the sacral area. The ulcer will be quite deep compared to the other ulcers, and it will have the edges rolling inward rather than outward. And of course, because the pathology itself is related to pain loss, there will be no pain in the patient presentation. And just like the other pathophysiologies, once you see a neurogenic ulcer, look for other neurological signs, such as claw toes and charcoal joints. Use the link below to get access to the full dermatology course. This includes more than 60 lectures with study notes and revision cards. You will also get access to the flashcards and MCQs. Thank you for watching.